Hey guys, it's Max with Apple Insider. Apple just unveiled iOS 12 at WWDC, and we just finished installing the developer beta on our iPhone 10. Let's take a look at all the new features and some of the new updates that Apple included. Apple kicked things off talking about performance improvements. That was one of the main things they focused on for iOS 12, and they talked about the iPhone 6 Plus being almost twice as fast in certain cases. So let's see if we notice any differences launching apps on my iPhone 10 with iOS 11 and with iOS 12. I'm gonna start off launching, uh, let's see, the TV app. I haven't launched that for a while, so it shouldn't be preloaded. One, two, three. As you guys see, iOS 12 was much faster. Oh my goodness, that's a huge difference there. Let's launch the health app. Quite a bit quicker there on iOS 12. And let's try the camera app. Bam, iPhone 12 wins again, and that's pretty impressive for the first release of a beta version of iOS. One thing I'm really excited about is the group notifications. This is something that we've been asking for for a long time, and now finally we get things that are in separate categories and in lists. So here I have YouTube notifications, uh, and then I have uh, my Apple Insider notifications here. Earlier I had some uh, text messages, and we're able to deal with this list at the same time. So I can hit clear all, I can hit view, let's uh, manage here, and I can turn off the notifications for Apple Insider app, or deliver quietly, we're gonna leave that one alone. The next thing that got updated is do not disturb. This is something I didn't really use previously, but now we have a couple additional options. So if I go down and I force touch on the icon, I can actually select one hour until this evening or until I leave this location. So Apple was mentioning that if you're at the park, uh, you can set this and you can actually watch your kids and enjoy uh, the park instead of just being on your phone and be dealing with different notifications, stuff like that. In addition to this, we're gonna have a function where at, in the nighttime, um, all your notifications that come in, instead of just not disturbing you, uh, they're actually not gonna show up at all. So if you wake up in the middle of the night, you wanna check what time it is or something else, you won't see a big list of notifications until you wake up and start your day in the morning. Now let's head into the settings and take a look at screen time. So this is gonna allow you to check out your usage, how much time you're spending in different apps. It'll let you set different controls and limits for yourself. And there's also parental control options if you wanna limit your kids' usage and see how much time they're spending in each different section. So here I have Max's iPhone, an hour 27 minutes today. I have spent 12 minutes in the settings, seven minutes with productivity. And I can go in here and see uh, the list of apps that I use and how much time I spent there. So it's extremely detailed I'm really surprised by how good this looks here we have the app limits I have no app limits set just yet um, some apps that are always allowed no matter what so if you have to have access to something and content and privacy restrictions and it also ties it ties into the family usage so I have my wife right here I can turn on screen time give her some limits and block some apps for her if I don't want her spending a lot of time on Instagram or something like that. But this looks to be very, very detailed and something that I will end up using. And I think a lot of people are gonna be surprised by how much time they spend on their phone. Now let's head into messages and take a look at some new updates and additions to Animoji and Memoji. Here we have a pop-up, welcome to Animoji. I'm gonna select continue here and it's asking me to create a Memoji right away, but I wanna show you guys some new additions that we have. So we have uh, this koala, bam, and we have the tongue option. So if you like making silly faces and sticking out your tongue, that's gonna to be great for you. We also have a little uh, dinosaur here, a ghost face, and the tiger. Now I think what people are most excited for is the Memoji, so let's try this out. So I'm gonna make my own Animoji that looks like me, or like somebody else I guess if I wanted to. Uh, no freckles. I think skin color is probably right. Okay, I don't know, I guess more like this. Chin. This is pretty detailed. I think you get really close to what you actually look like. Here's eyebrows. I think lips is fine, ears, no earrings. There we go, so I created my, my first Memoji and you could create multiple ones. Um, let's try to do a little video. So my Memoji or Memoji has a tongue too. Looks really, really nice. Now along with that, we have some new effects and different options in our camera app. So I'm gonna open up this little effect menu and here I can actually select that 
uh, Mimoji that I put in or Mimoji. So pretty cool right there. We also have different filters that we can apply. So a uh, comic type look and we have a lot of different interesting things, different filters for color. Uh, we also can apply some text if we'd like do different shapes so you can add something in different AR things so let's put a little ghost right here on my shoulder it's actually working quite well there photos has also gotten smarter you can put in multiple different search terms and it'll actually auto recommend different searches for you so let's try uh, park and it's giving me some different parks right here so it can find different locations and different events let's say there was a concert in your town it can know that automatically and help you find the photos you're looking for and let's write uh, selfies bam so here i have all my selfies at riverfront park with ios 12 facetime now supports up to 32 different individuals and you can actually apply those same different filters and effects and your memoji in there and do all those great things that we looked at previously and if you're in messages you're having like a group chat group conversation you can actually invite people to do a facetime chat or join in really quickly and easily if you guys want to see more about that click the card above and check out our detailed video about that or use the link in the video description one thing that Apple didn't mention, but I just found in iOS 12 is the fact that you don't need to press down on an app in your app switcher to close it. So this makes the whole process a lot quicker. You just swipe up, hold for a second, and you can just close all your apps really quickly and really easily, just like with an iPhone 8 or a previous iPhone. Apple added a simple app called Measure, and I think this one's gonna get a lot of use. There's been third-party options, but I think this one should work quite nicely. So let's try it out here and actually automatically found this iPhone 8 and it's allowing me to actually select the inside or the outside box here. So it is actually working quite well, five and a half inches by two and a half inches. And I can actually copy all of the information and probably paste it somewhere. So we know that the iPhone 8 Plus screen is five and a half inches across and bam, I actually got that perfectly right, five and a half inches. Now along with the measure tool, we have a built-in level and this will help us to uh, put up a picture frame or uh, something like that. Make sure your desk is set up level when you're adjusting it. And if you place it flat, you also get a bubble level. Voice Memo has received a redesign and it now looks nicer and cleaner. Very simple here, but you can still pull up and uh, access so and see some more information here so we can pause we can resume and when we finish we don't have to put in a title you can just go in and change one later but I actually grabbed uh, my location automatically here and it now supports iCloud syncing so that's definitely nice iBooks also received a redesign and is now called Apple Books so here we can open it up and it's showing me uh, welcome to the new Apple Books it's gonna look better so I'm gonna hit continue here, and I don't really use uh, iBooks or Apple Books here, uh, but we have a new layout, everything looks nicer than it did before. Once you're actually reading a book, it's gonna show you an icon that updates to what page you're on, so that's pretty cool, and of course you have the syncing. And to wrap it up, Stocks also received an update. It used to be just available on the iPhone, but now we have it on iPad and on Mac OS. It received a redesign, and we also get market news, if we'll update here. So we get the top stories that are coming from Apple News that are related to the market. Unfortunately, Siri Shortcuts was not included in the first release of iOS 12 beta, but we are very excited about the capabilities that that will add to Siri, and we hope to see it in the next release of iOS 12 beta. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys are subscribed and have those notifications enabled. We have a lot of videos coming out on everything that Apple announced at WWDC and with more hands-on stuff. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media, and we'll see you in the next video.